Minecraft servers don't stick around forever. Recently, there's been a wave of famous Minecraft servers shutting their doors indefinitely. Servers which you and I both grew up with, many of which we would spend hours watching our favorite YouTubers play every single day. And while some, like Mineplex, may be lucky enough to potentially be given a second chance, the many other servers we'll talk about today weren't as lucky, and only continue to gradually fade into obscurity, their names forgotten more and more every day. Cosmic PvP was not a faction server I liked. From being extremely pay to win to containing literal slot machines, it was the epitome of everything wrong with modern day factions. But regardless of my opinions of it, it's undeniable the server had incredible influence on Minecraft factions as a whole, and at one point was the most popular faction server in the game. Originally established in early 2014 and owned by big YouTubers Woofles and Preston Plays, the server was destined for success, and success it would attain. Dozens of well-known Minecraft YouTubers would make series on the server, many of which racked up millions of views. The server was everywhere, it was impossible to escape. Cosmic PvP would see player counts well into the high thousands throughout 2015 to 2018, hitting over 10,000 a few times as well. But ultimately, the server began to decline after the pandemic player boost ended. Over the years, the server had become insanely grindy for non-paying players, turning lots of the loyal player base against the server. However, one of the biggest factors leading to the server's decline was the fact that players were forced to use their custom cosmic client to even join the server. As you can imagine, the server's not going to get new players when anybody curious can't even join without having to download an annoying client. Combined with the fact that YouTube content surrounding factions began to die down, with Preston and Woofles in particular no longer making videos on the server, and with the 1.8 competitive PvP player base declining a lot as well, it seemed Cosmic PvP's fate was sealed. In 2020, the server was still seeing 1 to 2,000 players online daily, but by 2021, that number had halved down to 6 to 700, and by 2022, the server was rarely seeing more than 150 people online daily. Earlier this year, Cosmic PvP factions would shut down forever, thus spelling the end of a Minecraft faction's era. However, Cosmic Prisons, their prison server, still does exist, and it does alright, getting 300 to 400 players at peak daily, but a far cry from the server's glory faction days. On the topic of faction servers, another famous server similar to Cosmic, which has met its untimely end as of only a few days ago now, is the Archon. The server was created by popular Minecraft, well, used to be Minecraft YouTuber, The Camping Russia, in late 2013. Like Cosmic PvP, the Archon was destined for success, with The Camping Russia's first video of his faction series on it gaining over 1 million views, and a variety of other now famous YouTubers getting their start by making Archon videos. Camping Russia would go on to make an extremely long Minecraft Factions Let's Play series, spanning over 1,000 episodes, giving the Archon an extreme amount of exposure, and it regularly was hitting upwards of 3,000 players during the server's peak. However, the Archon had many issues surrounding the Minecraft EULA. Mojang made another adjustment to their EULA agreement. First, they said, they laid it out. This is okay, this is not okay, and they told the servers to change. They actually, like, blacklisted 30 of us without warning. Two months ago, they changed their mind again and said that was no longer okay. So all the development that the servers had done and changing their plugins and doing all this, it was completely useless because now Mojang just didn't like it anymore. As Russia stated, the server was struggling to comply with the ever-changing and unclear Minecraft EULA being blocked and unblocked various times. Regardless, Russia would power ahead, but gradually would slow down on uploads surrounding the Archon and then stopped uploading videos on the server in general. In early 2018, Russia would sell the Archon to another person and move on from Minecraft for good. However, even with Russia gone, the server still saw a lot of success, regularly seeing play counts in the thousands, peaking at as high as 3,000 again in early 2020, with COVID keeping everyone inside. But, as other bigger YouTubers continue to leave the server, and with factions starting to die out, the Archon would see a rapid decline entering 2022. Further troubles with Mojang's EULA again led to the server having to remove payouts from factions and their other game modes, which are basically where top players would get PayPal money every map, a key reason many people continue to play factions, hurting the server even more. They tried to branch out with Modern Survival, but ultimately the player count continued to decline into 2023, where it was rarely seeing above 200 players online anymore, with it seeming that most of the players were botted. Only two weeks ago now, the Archon would announce its closure, or rather merger, with a popular modern Minecraft 
Minecraft server, one block MC. As stated in the Archon's official merger post, the Archon was always a competitive server, and the Minecraft environment had shifted more towards a casual player base, no longer being sustainable for such a competitive server to be viable. Basically, competitive 1.8 PvP-centered game modes like Factions were not the multiplayer meta anymore, and as such, it was time to move on and focus on 1.19. It's also time for you to check out my 1.19 SMP with PvP, raiding, and a player-run marketplace. Oh, and before you skip the video anymore, it might as well also be time for you to hit that subscribe button so we can reach 600k subs soon. No pressure. Minecade was a famous Minecraft server originally created in 2012 and at one stage was the number one Minecraft server worldwide, becoming famous primarily for game modes such as Super Craft Brothers Brawl, a 1 vs 1 vs 1 vs 1 Minecraft version of Super Smash Bros that had mob themed kits based on Seth Bling's game mode, the original walls made by Hypixel, and eventually Super Minecraft Maker, a Minecraft version of Super Mario Maker. The server was very unique to say the least, and even to this day, there are very few servers out there with such game modes. With promotion from a variety of extremely popular Minecraft YouTubers including Sethbling, DanTDM, Skydas Minecraft, Sundy, and many many others, it's no surprise that the server managed to achieve thousands of players online and was one of the pioneers of the minigame style servers that would take over not long after it. However, as stated by one of the server's owners, Felipe, in 2016, the server had seen a decline in player count throughout that year, supposedly due to a lack of new and original game modes. And with other minigame servers like like Mindplex, Hypixel, The Hive, and Cubecraft, giving the server serious competition, it continued to decline into 2018, where according to this Reddit post, was purchased by a company known as Good Gaming, who released an awful Battle Royale game mode, likely trying to hop on the 2018 Battle Royale trend. After the game mode's failure, the server was neglected to the point where all its staff would resign. Now, technically, Minecade still does exist, owned by this company called Good Gaming, but from joining the server, there was nobody online and the only game mode remaining is Super Craft Brothers. Supposedly, the new owners tried to do something with NFTs, and looking on their YouTube channel, they seem to be involved in a variety of other projects now, so who knows what's going to happen with the remnants of Minecade. While the minigame community was thriving throughout 2014 to 2016, another more competitive side of Minecraft was gaining its footing. In early 2013, a server known as Badline would be released. Badline originally began as a small kit PvP server created by one of its owners, Archibot, for his factions and overcast network clan called Badline to practice PvP. The server wasn't actually meant to become a big public server, but still began gaining players to where the server's other owner, Master G Berry, was brought in and the server began to grow. Badline was one of the earliest Minecraft PvP servers, known as a practice or arena PvP server, which ultimately spawned from the many kit PvP and super PvP servers that existed at the time. Basically, it was a pure competitive PvP server, the likes of which had not really been established yet within the Minecraft community. Badline would grow in popularity gradually throughout 2013 and 2014, adding an ELO system and eventually a ranking system to their many 1v1 modes, furthering their competitive game modes. However, the server's true peak would come in 2016, when another popular hardcore factions and practice server at the time, Kohi Network, would merge with them, bringing over a large hardcore factions player base. Badline would also have a lot of success with UHCs, hosting some of the biggest UHCs to ever exist at the time. Their UHCs regularly had anywhere from 250 to 750 players online, and is where a decent number of Minecraft YouTubers got their start. By this point in 2016, the server was seeing thousands of players online daily, which got the attention of ESL America. ESL are a large esports organization and production company known for hosting massive CSGO, League of Legends, and other mega popular game tournaments. ESL decided to partner with Badline, providing them with resources, clearly looking to grow the server into a popular esport. But unfortunately, such plans would never come to fruition. Minecraft as a whole began to decline in 2017, and with the prior release of 1.9, dividing the Minecraft community into two, the PvP and competitive side of the game, stuck on 1.8, began to decline as well. By 2018, the server had declined from a player base of upwards of 2-3 thousand players daily, to a few hundred, where in May of that same year, the announcement would be made that the server was closing. The reason stated for a closure was due to a decrease in interest for a competitive Minecraft server, and a lack of support from Mojang in the game becoming an eSport. While the server is gone forever though, the Badline client still remains somewhat popular and commonplace today, and many other Minecraft servers continue on, taking significant inspiration from Badline overall. And on the topic of Arena PvP or practice Minecraft servers, we have the latest addition to this list, the latest server to meet its demise, that being Luna.gg or the Luna Network. 
Now I'm sure almost all of you know what Luna is due to their popular client, Luna Client, but many of you may not know that their server recently shut down as of only about a week ago now. Originally beginning in 2019, Luna.gg was primarily a practice and pop PvP server, but did contain hardcore factions at one point, similar to Badline. However, what really put the server on the map was a special Minecraft client, Luna Client, a primarily PvP focused Minecraft client aimed at competitive players. What made Luna and Luna Client so great at the time was its ability to prevent users from cheating, an issue rampant in the community at the time, as well as its ease of installing and using client-side PvP mods. Popular Minecraft PvP YouTubers at the time, such as Stimpy, Tryhard PvP, and Advisor, would begin uploading videos on Luna, helping it grow to a healthy few hundred daily players. And with the growing player base using Luna Client, and the fact that Luna.gg was always pinned at the top of the server list, Luna now had a consistent source of players. But, the server would begin declining throughout 2022, as 1.8 servers in general continued to decline as well. Not only that, but most of the remaining 1.8 PvP player base moved to or preferred playing on Mine Men Club, which was regularly getting, and still does get, over 1,000 players daily. Prior to closing down, Luna.gg was rarely seeing more than 50 players online daily, but the server's legacy will forever live on in their client. Since we are talking about competitive PvP servers, arguably one of the biggest that unfortunately met its demise was MCSG, otherwise known as the MC Gamer Network. MCSG was one of the earlier Minecraft survival game servers beginning in April of 2012, not long after the famous first ever Minecraft Hunger Games YouTube event took place, featuring the most popular Minecraft YouTubers at the time. Initially, MCSG was a series of separate servers that you would have to join individually through the server list, but eventually would expand into a proper network as its popularity grew. While the server would also expand into other game modes like UHC and Skywars, it ultimately was popular and known for its famous survival games, containing an extensive selection of SG maps that would run 24-7, a site which is rare to see today. Survival games players in general regard MCSG as the peak or epitome of Minecraft survival games, which considering the hundreds of servers who used to run it is an accomplishment in of itself. Dozens of YouTubers would make videos on MCSG and throughout 2013 and 2014, it was the prime location to play Minecraft survival games, with new maps and even regions for other countries being added eventually. Thousands of players would play daily, but like all PvP servers entering 2017, as Minecraft's popularity declined and with Mojang no longer supporting 1.8 based PvP, the player base would see a rapid decline. In conjunction with the server's growing issues, from the owner losing interest in the server, to it being infested with cheaters, MCSG was shut down in late 2016, with much of the remaining community transitioning to other competitive servers like Badline instead. The server actually did come back up temporarily in early 2020, but that was short-lived and the server would inevitably shut down again. Many attempts to revive MCSG or even survival games in general have been made since, but SG is more dead than it ever has been as of right now, and it's unlikely to even catch a glimpse of its glory days again. Now, Mineplex is the final server that would have been on this list if it weren't for some recent developments. As I'm sure many of you are already aware, Mineplex abruptly shut down a couple weeks ago now, with no announcement, final message or even any warning. An extremely sad day for all, as even their Bedrock server, which was still successful at the time, would be closed as well, and it seemed like a big chapter of many earlier Minecraft players' lives had just been forced and closed. But recently, former Mineplex YouTuber and staff member, Samito, who had moved on to a career in Overwatch, bought the server. Samito now plans to reopen the server, giving it the proper love and attention it deserves, promising to not only bring back beloved game modes such as Super Smash Mobs with an updated and fresh feel, but also to bring new game modes to Mineplex, breathing life back into the server. Samito has got many former higher-up staff members who are key to Mineplex's original success back, and hopes are quite high. Bedrock is their current priority, but Java is planned to come out eventually as well, and who knows, maybe Mineplex will become a titan of a server again, but only time will tell. For now, both the Java and Bedrock Mineplex servers are offline, as players eagerly await the future of their beloved server. Let me know if you guys want to see a part 2 with some other famous servers I didn't include here, and be sure to comment any you think I've missed. Be sure to subscribe, thank you all so much for watching.